Hi guys, David Stone here. Um, you know, one of the things that I look for as I move around, talk to people, travel, uh, I'm constantly looking for stories of fearlessness, examples of people living fearlessly. And last night I heard an amazing one. I, uh, I spent the evening last night with my brother and uh, he teaches, and, and right now I'm visiting here in Toronto, and he teaches uh, college here in Toronto and he teaches event planning, you know, people planning uh, big conferences and um, you know, events of all sorts for lots of people. Anyway, he was telling me about this one student of his that he's known for a number of years. She's graduated since, but uh, she came from Korea and uh, uh, all by herself, late teens, early 20s, and she uh, left her home, hardly spoke any English at all. And uh, she, anyway, she enrolled in this course and because her English was so uh, hard, she would spend her afternoons and her evenings and her weekends, and he said, reading comic books, reading children's books, watching cartoons in order to learn English. And she, he said, when in her first semester in his course, in his class, she was like a D minus, just failing miserably. But she came to him and said, this is not me. I will do this. I am going to succeed at this. And by the time she graduated, she made the honor roll, the dean's list, top of her class. And since she graduated, she's gone on to have very prestigious um, positions at very prestigious hotels, helping them organize their events. Uh, she then got um, <laughs> got recruited by a. Uh, she was working here in Toronto. She got recruited by uh, a big club, country club in Vancouver. She moved out there, and she recently got married. And uh, apparently, uh, in the middle of one of her final exams, she got news and and word that her father had taken his own life and she's in the middle of an exam how do you deal with that well talk about courage talk about fearlessness to go ahead in the face I mean I mean the list of obstacles for a person like that is just endless we talked we've talked recently um, about excuses that we can use handy excuses that we can use to avoid doing the really hard things well here's somebody that had no end of really legitimate excuses if she wanted to but she would not accept them she had her eyes on a goal she had set her mind on what she wanted to accomplish and there was nothing that was going to get in her way and I love hearing stories like that. I just find it so inspiring and it makes me feel like, you know, wow, you've done nothing, Stone. You haven't, you haven't tried anything in comparison. And anytime I want to try and make some excuses, I think, wow, look at a person like this. That's what I want to be like. And, you know, fearlessness isn't about having no obstacles. Fearlessness is not being Iron Man or James Bond or any of these cartoon characters that really we all know they're going to win in the end. No, fearlessness, really living fearlessly, is about knowing that there are genuine obstacles out there that could knock you down and knock you out any time, and yet going ahead anyway and taking it on and saying, no, damn it, I'm going to do this. This is what I want to do. And so when I hear stories like that, I want to share them with you because they are so inspiring. And this is, you know, real everyday people. There's nothing special about this woman except that she has decided of what she wants to accomplish in her life. And she won't let anything get in her way of that. So what excuses are you and I using on a daily basis to avoid the hard things 
to avoid accomplishing those goals that we've set for ourselves. It's just, um, it's just too easy to let those excuses get in our way. And if you want to talk to me, I would love to talk to you about what are the challenges that you're facing right now. My job, my, what I've set myself up for is to help me, help you, help this, our entire community get past the obstacles that are there that we've set for ourselves. So get in touch with me. There's my email right there. Send me an email. I promise I will get back to you. Gosh, we all need, every one of us needs all the help we can get to live fearlessly, to overcome those obstacles and to get past what we like to think, you know, are obstacles, but are in fact excuses. So uh, join me for another video here real soon. Uh, who knows where I'll be when I record the next one, but uh, I'm going to keep coming back to you because we are all about living fearlessly, and we can do it.